In order to get an output or layout from your layers and maps, you need to proceed according to the tutorial. For this purpose, select the new print layout option. Assign a name. In the open window you can adjust the map. This is the main section of layout. There is a blank page that requires a series of settings to be made on this page. On the left side, there are a series of tools for editing the output map, which we will use in the continuing. Also, on the top of the page, there are tools for saving, exporting, etc. On the right side of the page there are options for settings inside the map. There is an option called Item Properties, which you need to use in the first step. Here you can specify the page size. As seen in the list, you can choose one of these items based on your needs. We put on A4. We put the orientation on the landscape. As you can see, you can choose the desired style for your page. To add your layers to the map, use the add map command. Click on the tool. Draw a polygon on the screen to add layers inside this polygon. As you can see, the layers have been added. You can change its size and make it bigger or smaller. Item properties will be displayed when you click on the map. Here you can make settings related to the map. You can change the scale manually. To add a title on the map, use the Add Label tool. By clicking on this option, you can draw a polygon on the map to add a name on the map inside this polygon. These steps are optional, you can set them as you like too. Assign a name for the map. You can change the text font. Or you can change the text style. And change the text size based on your need. You can also change the color of the text. Place the text in center and middle for better appearance. Select the Add North Arrow option. Then click the Add Legend option. The map legend is displayed. After preparing the map, you can export the final output.
Assign a name for the output and a specified storage path. The final map has been exported and can be seen here.